have to show you guys my socks. Look at this. They have bunnies. See? They're bunnies. A couple of you have been asking for a pet updates video, so I thought I would do one. I don't have that many updates, but I thought we would see what all of the pets are doing today. Um, I'm gonna finish my breakfast first, and then we'll go see all the pets. Oh god, here he comes. The bread eater's coming. I have nothing. To start, this has nothing to do with my pets, but I got this off Amazon and um, I was gonna unbox it on camera, but I got way too excited. It's this hamster blind box type thing um, and they're hamsters with eggs and I got this one and it's so cute. I love it. So I guess we will start with the cats. I think I always usually start with them. Both of the cats are doing great. Um, because we are getting more spring weather lately, um, like today is supposed to be plus two, I've been opening the balcony doors for them lately and so they <laughs> get really excited. I don't know what it is about the fresh air, but it makes them go crazy and then they go like wow, all over the place. Love it. Are you happy? Sir? Are you the one who chewed my windshield fluid? <laughs> she loves it. Then we have the rabbits who also are both doing really, really well. Recently I got these little hook things to screw into the top of my lack tables to hang some of their toys. How am I gonna do this? Do I need a drill? Maybe. So intimidating. are these? They like went right through. So there, that's what that looks like. Hey Lola, do you like it? And for anybody wondering, I back in October, um, if you may remember, Cleo did have some issues. I didn't really update after that, but Cleo's fine. She's healthy. She's not drinking a ton of water anymore. I don't know if maybe it was just like some type of food that was causing it, maybe the type of hay or like the temperature or maybe the water was just evaporating a lot quicker, quicker. So, but she's fine. Cleo is like healthy. You want your salad? Oh my goodness. There you go.
have Lenny. Lenny is also doing good. He is showing his age a teeny tiny bit. Um, I often get asked, how do you know? Um, well, based on like how old he is, which I can't exactly remember the date. Hang on, I'll tell you how old Lenny is. Lenny is a year and 10 months old. So that is pretty good age for a hamster. Um, so he's going to be two years in April, I think it is. So he is kind of just showing some more age related things. He is kind of thinning his coat again. And then like, you can also just tell more so in his face. I don't know, maybe it's just something like you kind of gain knowledge with of owning hamsters, but I can just kind of tell when I can see them slowly aging more. But I think Lenny is going to make it to his second birthday. I did want to show you guys Lenny's enclosure because I did change it up and add a couple of new things in it. So this is just what it currently looks like. I think Lenny is really enjoying it. Um, I added in some new cork and some moss and some cork granules for a little dig box. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. And if you didn't know, I'm also a plant mama, so I'm gonna give you updates on some of my plants because you're probably like, what is going on with that? Um, that's my dwarf umbrella tree. He's probably dead. Uh, he got scales and I really tried my best to remove every single one every single day, but it just didn't work. And so now he's just in a plastic bag. Um, maybe he'll be revived. Maybe I'll just buy a new one. A lot of my other plants are actually doing really, really well. Um, like my pothos is getting two little new leaf babies. Um, my fig, my little fig boy is so dramatic. Um, he did have, so I've dealt with so many pests as a new plant owner. I realized that pests are very easy to occur and I've dealt with like five different types now. Um, so I'm going a little insane, but my little fig did have some type of like white flies I think they're called um, and he did give me like a new leaf it's kind of a little bit crispy but it's a new leaf so we'll just leave it at that um, my Hoya doing amazing she's crawling up the plant thingy um, I have a parlor palm in a bag um, he he's probably dead but you know he's in the bag because it'll give extra humidity because I have a super dry condo because we have electric heat so it's like 0% humidity in here. And I'm also propagating a lot of babies. Um, I have three little succulents that have grown really well. And then um, <laughs> I'm bad with cactuses and I almost killed them all. Um, so then I kind of broke pieces off and I did propagate those to get roots. So those are doing good. And then I also have a orchid that is in a plastic bag too for the humidity aspects. Um, and I did lose my hibiscus. So those are my uh, plant updates. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? 
And I suppose I should probably let you guys know that my empty night angel cage probably won't be so empty in possibly April. That's all I'm gonna tell you for now. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.